I used the bathroom and they called the police on me. Standing inside a Starbucks bathroom in Brandon, Lauren Green called the company's corporate line. And she said, I'm a black male and called the police on me. Oh no. It's being humiliated and defaming me, belittling me and, and just, this felt awful. Green believes he was racially profiled as soon as he walked through the door and headed to the restroom. He says he heard an employee refer to him twice as the big black guy. And while he was in the bathroom... This incessant knocking starts, knocking on the door over and over again. Do you need fire rescue? Do you need fire rescue? Green and his attorney, Jasmine Rand, believe that was just a way to get him out. Instead, he called the Starbucks corporate line and he was on the phone for more than 20 minutes and eventually left the store. An employee called Hillsborough deputies and had them issue a trespassing ticket. All my client did was use the bathroom while black. Rand and Green feel the situation bears a striking resemblance to a case in Philadelphia last year when two men were arrested after sitting in a Starbucks without making a purchase. Starbucks held racial bias training and changed its policy to allow anyone, including non-paying guests, to sit in its stores and use its restrooms. Here we are again a year later and you failed in your promise to the public to keep them safe. A Starbucks spokesperson told Fox 13 the company is investigating, adding, quote, we always strive to create a warm environment where everyone feels welcome. We have zero tolerance for discrimination of any kind and take this type of accusation very seriously. Green says he hopes so. I have never experienced anything like this to this degree. This is extreme. In Brandon, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.